<laughs> All right, guys, we are show prepping today. So we've got a show coming up in the next couple weeks. It's probably the only one we're gonna get to go to this year. We're gonna set up our trailer a little bit differently. We have a horse trailer, a two horse slant load uh, with a tack room horse trailer. Now that we have the goats, we're tr we kind of we still use it for the goats, and we're gonna kind of modify a few things so that it just suits the goats and our needs a little bit differently. So this trailer came with a nice, really nice um, little saddle rack puller outer thing. So you would pull the rack out and you could have your saddles all right there. It's really sweet um, for horses, but for goats, not so much. It takes up a lot of space and um, we don't, we're not gonna use it. It also has this um, big rack right here for blankets and saddle pads. Um, again, which works really great for horses since it's a horse trailer. This was my dream horse trailer when we bought it. Um, I was gonna be horse showing a lot and then my horse passed away which broke my heart. anymore I just can't do it so that's when we got into the goats but I still love this trailer it has amazing qualities and I think it'll be great for goat shows we just need to change a few things all right so we're gonna take out the saddle rack holder and we're gonna take out the saddle pad holder and we're gonna convert this and then we're gonna set up a little mobile milking machine The rack is out. A lot more room in here now. See? Yeah, there's a ton of room. Oh, you already got the other one? Yeah. Oh, missed it. Uh, pretty easy. There's a lot of room in here now. Yeah. We're gonna be putting together what we're calling a mobile milk machine. What I did is I went to Home Depot and I picked up one of these Husky, you know, tool totes. It's got wheels on it so you can roll it around. And uh, I got this for $68, and it has three compartments. So we're kind of in the planning phase of this, but what I'm thinking so far is the top one that has a clear lid. We're going to house our inflations and our jar lids and so that everything is right there so we can see it, right? And then when we're ready to milk, we'll take that one off, get our inflations out and everything. We'll set that one aside. And then in here, we're gonna have our jars. In the bottom one, I'm gonna store the, the vacuum pump, the pulsator, the regulator, and the gauge. But I'm gonna mount the gauge so that you can see it on the outside of the box. I'll drill a hole in the side of the box and then mount the gauge in a fashion that you can see the gauge and the regulator will be right here. So you won't have to open the lid to adjust the vacuum pressure or look at the cage and make sure everything's right. And then what I'll do so far is I'm gonna drill a hole in the bottom of this one. So this one comes off and I'm gonna drill a, a hole in the bottom over here and that's where the vacuum line will come up through and it'll just be coiled up in this box with the, the jars. And then when it's time to milk, basically what we'll have to do is we'll open this up, our tube will be there, we'll grab our inflations and our jar lid, we'll put our jar lid on We'll have our vacuum tube, it'll go here to the bottle. Our inflation tube will go over to our goats and it'll fill up our milk jar. Okay, so most of this, I bought the PVC fittings at Home Depot when I was there getting the rolling kit. Basically, they're tees that are threaded. So this is a three quarter inch, three quarter inch, half inch threaded fitting. And then this is a three quarter, three quarter half threaded. I had to buy an adapter 
to go from the half inch to the quarter inch for the regulator and for the gauge. And then for the pulsator, I put a Ooh. barb fitting on the end there and the pulsator has an adapter that comes with it and then that goes pretty snug down on that barb fitting like that. Pulsator is $50 from Simple Pulse. And then this little regulator piece is how much? $10. $10. This changes your pressure. And this, how much was this? This gauge was $25, I believe. And it's a really cool gauge because they have it in yellow and then green where you're supposed to be. And then red if it's the vacuum is too much. And it's also got their logo on it, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So... What the plan is, is to put these together and make kind of like a manifold system. So it'll be something like this. This will connect, the pump will connect in right here. It'll go this way. The regulator will be right here. Then the gauge and then the pulsator. And this will all be hidden underneath of the box in with the pump. So I'm getting ready right now. I've got a two and nine sixteenths hole saw. I'm going to hole saw a hole in the side of the box and that's where the gauge, you'll see the face of the gauge on the outside of the box and then I will also drill a hole on the outside of the box for the regulator so that we'll be able to see the pressure and adjust the pressure without having to pull the lid up off of the box where the vacuum pump is. Okay. Wow. Right, we just ruined our $68 Home Depot box. <laughs> that was fun. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice. Look at that. What? This is custom. Okay, I just wanted to do a quick update on what I've done so far. So I've got the gauge mounted in the front. I've got our regulator mounted in the front of the bottom piece that has the wheels on it. I put our little manifold system together like that. I've got a little hose that connects to the pump and that's gonna come in. So that's what our vacuum source right here. It's gonna come through. We're gonna adjust, you know, the regulator right here will adjust the pressure on our gauge. So our gauge will tell us how much pressure and then it's gonna to go to the pulsator, and then this line right here will hook up to our one side of our milk jar. The other side of our milk jar will connect to our inflations. I switched this one up with the exhaust a little bit, so off the exhaust of the pump, I put a 3 8 by half inch barb to a little tiny jar that I'm gonna mount in here. And then, so if any oil spews out of here, it's gonna go into this jar and then out of the jar will come the exhaust and I put a little um, I put a little 90 sticking out the back just to you know kind of you know the exhaust will blow out the back there so I'm almost done it's almost rigged up the only thing I've got to do is I've got to make a mount for the pump and I'm gonna mount uh, this PVC manifold in there so that everything's nice and rigid and nothing tips around. I've also got to figure out a mounting system for this jar. So the only downside of this is that the jar will have to come out. The pulsator can stay and the manifold can stay and the pump will pull right out. But the jar will have to come out. And then when it's time to go, we'll just hook this up, wheel this into the trailer and go. So it's not a bad, uh, it actually came out really good. So I'm going to use this bungee setup. So I've got this, I'm gonna drill a hole, two holes down through the bottom, and I've got some bracketry, this right here, and some washers that are gonna go on the back side so that it doesn't pull up out through the plastic. And then that's just gonna basically hold down the, we'll clip it over there and that'll hold down the pump inside the box. Okay guys, we're gonna give our mobile milk machine a test run. I adjusted the pulsator. To set it up for goats, you're gonna to wanna to have it click three times every two seconds. So I set it up as close as I could, just by ear and a, a timer on my phone. I have it set up. So once uh, once you flip, once you flip this switch right here, the pump will come on. 
uh, exhaust comes out right here. Right now, I've just got the tubes coming up through the bottom of this right here. And there's our jar. So you've got one line that comes down from the, the manifold. It's really close because I didn't have an extension cord down here. But So there's our gauge and regulator right there. And I set this up so that when we're milking, it'll be in the uh, in the green, right, just under 12 inches of mercury is what we like. There's the regulator right in the front, so it's all easy to adjust. Off of that manifold comes up a vacuum line right here, goes to one side of our jar, and then out of the other side of our jar goes to our inflations. So let's get these girls milked. Complicated 